Good day students, welcome to MathConservative.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over problems 31 to 33 of the CBS Practice Mathematics uh, test, focusing on computation and problem solving. All right, let's take a look at question number 31. It reads, Antonio buys four notebooks for $3.50 each at a store. The next day, he returns to the store and exchanges a notebook for three notebooks that have gone on sale for $1.75 each. Antonio uses the following expression to calculate the amount of money he should receive back from the exchange. So the question, which of the following expressions could Antonio have used, have also used? So there's another expression here that's equivalent to this. Okay, so there are two ways you can do this. You can work from the problem to the answer, or you can look at the options and see which one you can uh, rewrite or transform to generate this um, expression right here. Okay, I'm going to show you both methods. And whichever one you use, you want, you can uh, make use of. Okay, method one, uh, question, question to answer going forward. All right, so um, if you take a look at the arithmetic expression we have, we have four times 350. Let's forget about the currency symbol right now. Four times 350 minus, well, I've got to keep it there so I, I don't lose track of the answer, um, minus three times 175. Okay, so what this is telling us is that we have three 175s and we have four 350s. Okay, so how can we rewrite it in such a way that I can factor out a common term between the 175 and the 350s? So if you think about it, if I can write this as a combination of 1 350 and 3 350s, I can regroup the 3 350s with the 3 175s and factor out the 3. So it would be um, 3 times the difference between 350 and 175. Okay. So how do we do that? Um, in order to accomplish that, we can do rewrite <clears throat> one as, I'm sorry, rewrite four as one plus three. All right, because one plus three is four, and then this times $3.50, okay, minus three times $1.75. Now I can distribute $3.50 to these two numbers right here, to three, and then to one, okay? And then we have one multiplied by $3.50 plus three multiplied by $3.50, okay? And then that minus three times a dollar and 75 cents. Bam, bam. Don't forget our currency symbol here. Okay, now what we're going to do is regroup, okay? So one times 350, we can just get it alone as $3.50. If you look at this term right here and this term right here, we have a three being multiplied by a uh, currency value, okay? So we can write this as three plus three times $3.50 minus, bring out the three times uh, $1.75. Now what we're going to do is we're going to group these last two numeric values together because they have a three in front of them. That can be viewed as a common factor. Okay, so let's write these two first. So we have um, I'll just bring down a 350, $3.50. So I'm going to proceed to factor out this three since that's a common factor, okay? Plus three times, I'll be left with $3.50 minus $1.75. Since we know addition commutes, uh, you know, it doesn't matter the order that you add, you get the same result. So we can rewrite this as three 
times $3.50 minus $1.75 plus $3.50. And as you can clearly see, our answer is option letter B. Okay. All right, let's try uh, method two. Method two is a, a little bit more uh, open, complicated in the sense that you have to test each option to see which one um, will give you the desired goal. So for method two, you're going from questions because this is based on the assumption that you do not know which of the um, answer um, options are correct. Okay, so questions to answer. So um, using this method, we look at which of the expressions can be simplified to end up with or rewritten or transformed to end up with the original um, format. So actually, this is we're going from question to answer, answer to question. So we're going from answers to questions. We can reverse this. So answers to question, answers to question. So this is a question four times three dollars and fifty cents minus three times a dollar seventy five. So which of the options will give us this? Okay, so if you look at option A, we have three dollars and fifty cents minus a dollar seventy five. This is terribly wrong because this is not even multiplied by four, and we need to be subtracting three times this. So this is clearly wrong, there's nothing you can do to make this equal to that. Option B looks interesting. We already know that's the answer, but let's act as though we do not know. So we have three times $3.50 minus $1.75 plus $3.50. So on the test, on the CBS exam, for example, you're looking at this and you're asking yourself, can I rewrite this in this format? So what you do is you simply distribute and regroup. Okay, and see if you can end up with that. You have the three up front here, you distribute to $3.50 and $1.75. When you distribute, you have three times $3.50 minus three times $1.75 plus $3.50. Now, you ask yourself, um, we have two like terms here. This is, you have $3.50 and you have $3.50. So we can collect like terms together. You have three times $3.50, okay? Plus uh, $3.50. And then you subtract in three times a dollar seventy-five. Now what you can do is you notice that you have three fifty here and a three fifty here. You can factor that out. So if you factor out three fifty, now think about factoring out as dividing. Okay. So when I factor out three fifty, it is as though I'm dividing this by three fifty and dividing this by three fifty also. Okay, so when you divide this by 350, you're left with 3. Plus, when you divide 350 by 350, what are you left with? 1. So, you have that right there, minus 3 times $1.75. You can group this together since we're done with it. Now, look at the left side. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, you have 350 times four minus three times a dollar seventy five. Now we know that just like addition multiplication commutes, okay, the order of multiplication doesn't matter. This can be rewritten as four times three dollars and fifty cents minus uh, three times a dollar seventy five. And you can clearly see that this matches the original question, so your answer is option letter B.
All right, let's take a look at number 32. It says Rudy needs to calculate 14% of 50. He does so by computing it in the following way, 50 times 14 over 100. Which of the following methods could Rudy also use to determine uh, correctly the percentage? So um, we have 50, we want to rewrite 50 times 14 over 100 in a different format. So um, how about we convert 14 over 100 into decimal form? Okay, how do we convert uh, 14 over 100 to decimal form? So let's write that to convert 14 over 100 to decimal. Okay, the goal here is you want 14 divided by 1. I mean, you want the numerator divided by 1, so you end up with the numerator, okay? So you have 14 divided by 100. Put the decimal point behind the 100 and also behind the 14. Now, how many times do you have to move the decimal point in order to end up with a 1 in the denominator? That is the goal. You have to move it 1, 2, twice. Bam. Since you move the decimal point to the left twice in the denominator to achieve 1, you have to move it an equivalent number of times in the numerator, 1 and then 2. Bam. Okay, so your answer is going to be 0 0.14. Okay, so 50 times 14 over 100 can also be written as 50 times the decimal form of 14 over 100, which is 0 0.14. Okay, um, answer is option letter all right, let's take a look at number 33. It says, use the table below to answer the question that follows. So we have a quiz, test, and final exam averages. It says, to say, the table shows um, Cyrus grade for a class. For her overall average, the test average counts twice as much as the quiz average, and the final exam counts twice as much as the test average. To find her overall average, Cyrus uses the following expressions. So 83 plus 79 plus 79 plus 88 plus 88 plus 88 plus 88 divided by 7. Question, which of the following is another way to find her overall average? Okay, so one thing that you want to recall, as stated here, is that dividing is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, just to illustrate, if you have A, divided by B, guess what? The same thing as the same thing as writing A times the reciprocal of B. So one over B. Okay? Um, so that's that. Now let's keep that in mind. Take a look at this expression we have right here. We have 83 plus 79 plus 79 plus 88. 1, 2, 3, 4, 88, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have that entire expression divided by 7. Okay? So, since we're dividing by this number right here, that is equivalent to multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay? So, this is the same thing as 83 plus 79, plus 79, plus 88, plus 88, plus 88, plus 88, times, guess what, the reciprocal of 7, which is 1 over 7. Okay, and the way you multiply, you have this entire thing divided by 7. So as you can clearly see, we can also uh, group the numbers that are repeated. So we know that, um, Repeated addition is the same thing as multiplication. We have two 79s, and then we have four 88s. All right, so we can condense that further and write it as, um, what can we write it as? 83 is just by itself, plus you add in 79 two times, so it's the same thing as two times 79. Okay, and then if you add in 88 four times, it's the same thing as 4 times 88. 
Addition is repeated multiplication, all right? And then that will be multiplied by uh, the reciprocal of seven, we already talked about that, which is one over seven. So that is um, another way to, uh, to write the um, overall average. Our answer for number 33 is option letter E. Thank you so much for taking uh, the time to watch this presentation. We appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming CVEST exam, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions about the, um, the contents of this presentation or the CVEST ex exam uh, in general, just place your comment below and we'll be more than glad to answer you or provide you with support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the remainder of this review series. More clips can be found on mathcutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a